Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Carry Way. If you haven't yet, click below and subscribe. Today's topic, vlog topic, is going to be a paint and vlog. And what that means is I'm actually going to be oil painting throughout the vlog, so you'll get to see um, a little bit of my oil painting. But then also we're going to cover a topic today. So today's topic is about things you should consider when quitting your job to live the dream. This is less of an emotional vlog and more of a practical things to consider vlog. So before you quit your job, there are some key things to think about um, before you know giving it all up to try to find your passion. So we're gonna paint a little bit, we're gonna talk and chit chat a little bit, and hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so you can see I kind of have my studio all set up, my easel is up, I have the canvas, I've laid out my initial colors that I'm going to paint with. So you may be wondering, how do I know what I'm about to paint? Well, I do as any artist would, and I am by no means a professional artist. I tend to pick uh, inspiration from photos that I see or photos that I've taken. Uh, for right now, I have a picture on my phone of a beautiful sunset, so I'm going to try to do that. So I just finished using all most of my dark color. Um, I will actually use the dark color at the bottom of the painting, but for now I'm going to um, pause for the painting and we're going to talk about our topic. So our topic for the day is about quitting your job to find your either your dream job or live your dream lifestyle. As you can imagine, you know, maybe in the future all of this painting may be my dream lifestyle. But for now, you know, there there are a lot of unknowns of how I want my life to be, but I am in search of that feeling and finding that lifestyle that makes me happy. Um, I want to find something to do every day, a job to do every day that I smile and I get up and I would do it, you know, that cliche feeling of I would do it every day without getting paid. But there is a high amount of risk to quitting your job to live a dream or chase your passion and there are some three realistic things that you need to keep in mind when you're about to do that. So I have done a lot of research um, before quitting my job and three things that were a huge key were huge key factors to making my decision were one are you covered for health insurance think about it if anything goes wrong with your body if you you never know when something's going to go wrong you if you're under the age of 26 like I am I actually have a backup plan to get onto my parents health insurance, I have talked about it with them, they've called their health insurance company and are prepared to put me on their health insurance as soon as I lose my health insurance at my current role. So before you're qu you quit your job, investigate your company's policy as to how long your health insurance is going to last. There are some companies where as soon as you're walked out or as soon as your two weeks are up after you've given final notice, you will lose your health insurance. Additionally. There are other companies where if they've paid for your health insurance for that month, and say it's you know April 2nd and um, they just paid for your health insurance, you may actually be covered until the month's end. So do your research, call your health care provider, um, look at your company policy guidebook, and investigate how long you'll actually have your current health insurance for. Lastly, there are jobs, there are part-time roles at companies like Starbucks, for example, that do offer health care coverage even for part-time workers. So if you need to do that while you're following your passion or follow your dream, consider looking into part-time roles where they do offer health care coverage. Because at the end of the day, following your dream and being romantic and qu up and quitting your job is an amazing feeling. It is something that 
should inspire all people to not settle for lives that they don't want. But at the same time, you do need to be practical and having healthcare coverage is a part of that. All right, now we're back to painting. Woo! Our next topic, uh, part of the topic, is going to be, you know, what other practical things do you need to keep in mind when you're about to quit your job and live the dream? So a big part of that is if you're going to quit your job, you need to have savings saved up. I mean, you may have a trust fund somewhere, you may have some money stocked away, but in reality, there are certain basic needs that you need to cover especially if you're quitting your job. So if you're planning to quit your job and move like I am um, away from the city that you currently live in, then you'll need to keep in mind that there may be a fee when you break your lease. Are you planning to break your lease? If you are, then definitely talk to your landlord first and see if there's a fee to that. Additionally, when you go to your new location, um, if you're moving, if you're downsizing, you will still need, uh, you still will need money to cover not only one month's rent, but also the security deposit. So don't forget that that's usually, that can be several grand, if not more, to do that. So keep that in your budget too. Also, are you planning to ship things? If you're planning to ship things from your old location to your new location, Keep in mind that those will have additional shipping costs, moving costs. Um, also, you will have also you'll have a lot of other expenses. Think about what your day-to-day -day expenses are, month to month. Obviously, you won't have a job, so you'll be cutting superfluous things that you would consume regularly anyway. But you will really need to cut out um, extra things, non-necessities for a little while while you're figuring out what you want to do. Lastly, think about transportation. Are you flying to your new destination? Are you driving? Do you need to book hotels on the way there? Personally, as I'm quitting my job and moving to California, I am actually going to have to pay for, I'm driving cross country, which you'll see on my vlog but I am paying for the gas, I'm paying for hotels, I have family along the way that I'm going to stop at their houses um, to help reduce the cost, but I'm not only paying to leave Columbus, I'm also paying to move to LA, and the, the journey also costs money. So, you know, think, I'm not going to give you a realistic ballpark to how much money you'll need. It's, I would say if you don't have more than four to five grand saved up, it will be very difficult for you to feel secure in this quitting your job and moving somewhere and living the dream. It's it's not for the faint of hearts and that's why people don't do it that often. So if you're planning to quit your job and move, make sure you're giving yourself, you know, at least a few months of backup cash so that if anything goes wrong, refer to my previous note about health insurance. What happens if you get unhealthy and you not only do you not have health insurance, but you also don't have any backup cash? It's so scary. Obviously, I am a dreamer, but I'm also very pragmatic, so make sure that you have enough money saved up. Um, think about you know your rent, your food. For me, I love to work out, so I'm you know calculating that in a gym fee into my savings, as well as any um, risk or you know, things that pop up that you would need extra cash for. So definitely, definitely do not just quit your job and plan to move somewhere without any sort of savings uh, stacked up first.
guys, so one of the last practical considerations before you quit your job and live your dream life, pursue your passion, whether that be in a new city or a new career, is think about, in particular, what type of career are you going towards and you know what preparation does that require before you quit your job. For me, personally, I'm not quite sure what career I'm looking for, but at the same time, I do have a degree. I am qualified to work in a lot of different positions. So for right now, um, I took a many different steps to prepare myself for the job search. So think about what are you looking for? I am looking at very particular industries as well as not only full-time, but part-time jobs and I'm also looking at you know whether LA where I'm moving to has a good job market. It does. It is 2017. The job market this year is looking very good so I know when going to LA that I will not be short for a job. I may not land the first job, the dream job that I want at first, but that is why the other two notes that I made are so important. Make sure you have finances. Also, have you done, think about, have you done your resume prep? Have you practiced your interview skills? Are you prepared to actually enter the job market when looking for your dream career? Build up your confidence. Make sure you're prepared before you quit your job so that it, the turnaround between when you quit and when you get your dream job, um, that the turnaround time isn't too slow. Also, for me personally, before I moved to LA, I have looked into, you know, starting to send my resumes out before I actually even moved to LA. About a couple weeks beforehand, I do have a permanent address out there to send and put on my resume so that when I'm going out and looking for jobs, I can start contacting people before I arrive. So that the time between when I quit and when I have a new job will hopefully be reduced. I kind of touched on this before, but also, you know, do your research into the job market you're going into. In a lot of big cities, there will be a lot of different types of jobs and hopefully a large job market, but at the same time, you don't want to move somewhere where you hate all of the jobs that are there. And if there, are, what if there are any jobs in the particular field that you want to work in? Be mindful that, you know, also if you don't get that dream job at first, are you prepared to work three part-time jobs to make rent, sacrifice some of your time to eventually make that dream come true? So I'll just touch on this lastly. One thing I think you should also consider is submitting your letter of resignation. When you're quitting your job, some employees at will employees at will, so. One thing to also consider is submitting your letter of resignation. Whether you work for an at-will employee or not, at-will being that you can be terminated at any time and you can also submit your resignation at any time. Um, it does matter as far as the policy to which they'll, they'll um, the policy. Lastly, the thing to consider is whether when you're submitting your letter of resignation, how are you going to do it? Is your employer at will or not? At will means they can fire you at any second. At will means you can quit at any second. Uh, if it's a non-at will employee, some do require you to give a two weeks notice. So before you plan to give up your apartment and pack up your bags, make sure you're aware of your current employer's policies. Additionally, when you're submitted your letter of resignation, do not bank on the fact that they will keep you around for two weeks if that's what you plan to do. At a lot of employers, they do have the right once you submit your letter of resignation to walk you out the door, walk you out the door same day. So be not only emotionally prepared, but also mentally prepared to not have that income. So don't quit your job expecting to have two weeks more worth of pay. Hey guys, so my painting's almost done. I think it's turning out good so far. It doesn't take too long to do a sunset painting, but painting is very relaxing and I enjoy it. 
I do have a final few touches to make to it, redistribute some of the color, but all of the bones are there. So let's just recap what our vlog, paint and vlog, was about today. So the main topic is, you know, what are some practical, pragmatic things that you need to think about when you're quitting your job to live the dream um, or make your, you know, passion a reality. So really you want to keep in mind, A, do you have health insurance if you're going to quit your job? And for how long will you need health insurance um, coverage until you get your next job? Two, we talked about, you know, how much money do you need to save up in order to cover that time between when you're quitting your job and when you're either getting another job or you're finding a way to support yourself um, while working, whatever in what form your dream is. Uh, lastly, you know, we talked about looking for a job, what is the market that you're going into to the job market, wherever you're moving or even if you're staying in one place. Have you investigated? Have you done the prep? Done your resume? Practice interviewing? Have you put in those conscious efforts before just quitting your job and not being prepared to find a new one? And so that kind of rolls into last of, you know, putting in your letter of resignation. Are you prepared to do so? Do you know your company's policy? Because you want to live the dream. You want to have this feeling when you're making a huge decision to quit your job to do that, that everything is going to be happy and everything is going to go as planned or go as you imagined it. But there is some prep work that needs to be done beforehand. So just remember, health insurance, are you saving enough? And are you ready to jump right into that job market to get your dream, either your dream gig or create that dream life? So I am actually going to wrap up my painting now, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe below. Hey guys, so it actually took me a lot longer to clean up my painting than I thought it would, probably an hour to an hour and a half. It looks really good, but I'm actually gonna do a video of it, um, you know, when it's a little sunnier outside, it's the sun's about to set, and I didn't know it was time, but I actually have dinner plans in like 10 minutes, so I have to clean up. Um, and get going. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint today and for now just enjoy. That's the Carrie way. Bye!